my name's Ron, and welcome to another day in my life. It's been a while, about a week or more, I guess, since I put up a video. Um, not for any specific reason, just lack of motivation, I guess. The weather change and uh, the climate here in the United States, both weather-wise and everything else. Everybody knows what I'm talking about without getting into details. But um, uh, I, I do have something to share, and I have a, a couple of clips that I'll insert here as well. Uh, I, I was on my motorcycle uh, around about the time that Tropical Storm Zeta was coming through this area. And where, where I was riding, I, I kind of thought that I was going to be well below the storm. Um, and uh, that ended up not being the case. Uh, when, when I left here, when I left my house, it, w it wasn't rain. It was raining a little bit, like a little light drizzle, which is nothing, because um, you know I've got the Climb Badlands Pro jacket and pants, which are waterproof, and um, I, they work great when it drizzle. But as I got farther away from the house, it stopped raining. So I was like, well, no problem. I, they, they'll keep me warm and everything else. But I did end up getting into uh, the middle of that storm. And I will tell you now, even though that Triumph is a heavy motorcycle, uh, I, I had to look back at the weather the other day to see what the news said about that storm. And uh, where, I was, where I was riding, it was, I, I don't know if I was experiencing it, but they the, the reported that they were having 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts. And let me tell you something, on a motorcycle, that's, that's harsh. eventually pulled off to get out of the wind a little bit and it was it was raining hard too now it's raining hard and with the wind blowing that bad it was it was a pretty rough time on the motorcycle I'm not gonna lie to you the Badlands Pro definitely lived up to his name um, I did not get a drop of water inside my jacket or pants I know this the sun is kind of blinding and um, it worked out great. I enjoyed wearing that jacket and pants, and um, uh, it's a purchase that's, that was a lot of money, but I will tell you that, as far as I'm concerned right now, it was well worth the price. Um, especially since I didn't have to uh, put in different liners, a waterproof liner or a, or a cold weather liner or anything like that. You know, you just dress in layers under it, and it's waterproof, and it's that Gore-Tex fabric is awesome. I'm gonna tell you now, that Gore-Tex held up to Tropical Storm Zeta like it was cool. Uh, so anyway, back to the ride. Yeah, the wind was atrocious. And I eventually pulled off. I was in a slow lane, creeping along behind another car with my four ways on. Uh, I, I made jokes to some friends that um, never in my life have I, had I been happier to get behind an elderly person in a Subaru in a slow lane in the rain driving with their flashers on. I fell right in line behind him and, and was extremely happy to do that. Uh, the first gas station I pulled off into, I didn't really need fuel, but I thought I'd say, so I'm gonna stop, I might as well get gas. Um, they didn't have any power. So I sat there for a couple minutes, contemplated waiting it out, and I said, no, let me just get on. So I got back on the interstate, and I uh, headed up the highway a little bit, and another couple miles I pulled off uh, again, to, for fuel and to wait out the storm and I eventually found one I, I got off in the intersection at the uh, at the exit ramp it was without power but I could see the top of the hill less than a half a mile away the gas station was lit up so I went up there filled up the tank uh, and parked the motorcycle and it was not really raining anymore at that point not much uh, and I pulled over into a little parking spot and waited 20 to 30 minutes and I got back on the highway and eventually made it to where I was going safely and without rain and that much wind but a uh, holy hell that was probably the sketchiest ride of my life uh, uh, but I will tell you this 
I really gained a lot of confidence in that motorcycle on this ride. The Triumph, uh, and with this weight and its features and those turrets next tires performed flawlessly in the wet. I want to tell you now, I'm a, when I came back that Sunday, um, I was in the rain the majority of the time and I was never concerned with slipping around or anything like that. That motorcycle held up great in the rain. Uh, and maybe maybe it's not necessarily just a motorcycle, maybe it's the most rain I've ridden in and I just uh, gained a lot of confidence because I was riding in it. Anyway, um, hopefully I'll have another video soon on a motorcycle. There's a ride planned. Uh, there's a new meetup group in the area. A guy started it and there's a uh, cold weather ride coming up. So stay tuned for that and maybe I'll do a gear review or something coming up and uh, talk to you guys again soon. Be safe. Take care. Later. What's up guys? I just want to take this couple of seconds here to thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. I, I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Please leave a comment and I will always comment and get back to you guys. You know I always do. And if you're in the local area or you're passing through and you got time and I have time, maybe we can meet up for a cup of coffee, smoke a cigar, go for a motorcycle road, <laughs> motorcycle road, go for a motorcycle ride or even wet a hook out in the river or pond somewhere. I appreciate it. Y'all be safe and I'll talk to you again on the next video.